JT versus Luca. Great ball movement. Ends up with a JB triple and a chance at a four point play. Jalen Brown is about this life. And welcome into Celtics post game live. Chris Mannix, Amina Smith here with you. The Celtics beating the Dallas Mavericks 119 to 110 down there in Dallas. And now the Celtics team, they start this three game road trip 2 and 0. Oh, and really, this Mavericks team, they hung around this entire matchup. Mannix, what was the storyline of this game for you? The play of Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum, unquestionably. Jason Tatum leading the team in scoring, plus 28 overall, setting the tone for this team in the first half. And Jalen Brown, look, I don't care what the box score says. Uh, Jalen, Luka Doncic had this glossy triple-double. Jalen Brown officially a minus five, which tells you how stupid plus minus is. <laughs> uh, Jalen Brown outplayed Luka Doncic in this game. Simple as that. He was better defensively. He made clutch shots. He took the ball to Luka in big-time situations. Jalen Brown was the better player in this game than Luka Doncic, and that's a big reason why the Celtics came out with the win. Yeah, both Luka Doncic and Jalen Brown going one-on-one -on -one in this match with tonight, and just like you mentioned, Jalen Brown, he won that match. Well, Jalen Brown is also with Abby Chin after this win. Jalen, playing on the second night of a back-to-back, -back, you guys came, only went eight deep. And there was just this heightened level and in intensity throughout this game. Why did you guys want this one so badly? Just a mindset game, you know. Uh, we wanted to come out and play a little bit better um, than we've been playing before. Even though we won last game in Houston, we wanted to come out with the right mentality and right mindset. So today we we came out from the jump. We were ready to go. What was your mindset in the fourth quarter? The Mavs cut it down and didn't go away, and you came in and closed this game out. Um, just keep being aggressive, you know. Defensively, we made some stops, but offensively, um, we just kept putting pressure on them. I feel like I settled a lot down the line, um, but we feel like we got a good rhythm and we found a way to win. Did you ask to guard Luca? You were checking him for large stretches of this game. Um, no, um, but I feel like I'm one of the better defenders in the league, if not the better defender in the league. So it's a challenge that, you know, I feel like should be bestowed on me. So, you know, whatever night, you know, my body's in a different shape. I'm guarding the best players night to night. And you made him work for it on the other end as well. Can you take me through when you dropped him in the second quarter? Do you remember that? Um, just being aggressive, it happens. It's a part of basketball. You know, I respect it for getting out there and trying. You know, even in the second half, instead of trying to hide him, they tried to put him on me, you know, and uh, he got some stops towards the end of the game. So um, respect to him, but it's a part of basketball. Just come out and play hard. Finally, what does it tell you about this team that you guys were able to come in here in this Texas two-step as well and maintain the mentality that you wanted? Um, I think it was great. You know, this is a tough part of the season, and, like, mindset and mentality is going to shine through. And this was a good example of that tonight. On the back-to-back, -to -back, team came out, started out hot, and we just was able to, to roll on. Down a guy, KP, our big fella wasn't playing, but we found a way to get a win anyway. Jalen, thank you. Congratulations. You have it. Scal and Drew Carter joining us live right now from Dallas. And you heard Jalen Brown talking about it in that interview right there. He believes that he's one of the better defenders in this league. Scal, he went one-on-one -on -one with Luka Doncic tonight. What did you think of that matchup? Yeah, I'm stamping him. I like the fact that I, I had no idea how they were going to match up. I thought maybe Holiday would guard him, but Holiday was on Kyrie Irving. And I, I wonder if Jalen Brown – Ask Joe Mazzula. Like, I want to be an all defensive player. I want to be defensive player of the year, whatever. I want to guard Luka Doncic. And I thought Jalen Brown had that energy. Remember, Dallas had the four days off. Uh, the Boston Celtics on a back to back, and it felt like uh, the guys who had the energy were Brown and Tatum. And I think one of the most impressive games Jason Tatum played this year, guys, was against OKC, even though the Celtics ended up losing that game. And the reason is he went and he defended Shea Gilgis Alexander in the fourth quarter. That's right. So if both those guys are requesting those individual matchups, I think that's a really good sign for the camaraderie and the sacrifices they're willing to make. Yeah, and Scal, you've seen a lot of impressive wins by the Celtics this season. To me, this ranks right up there. Third game in four nights, coming off a back-to-back -back against the team that was healthy and had not played since this past Wednesday. And I mean, we've seen some great games from Jalen Brown. I mean, I, I just said this a moment ago, that Jalen Brown's a minus six tells me that plus minus is the dumbest statistic that's out there because Jalen Brown was phenomenal throughout the course of this game. And you know, I, I just rank that performance and this game right up there with any that we've seen this season. I do think it was good to shake off. Like, I don't 
think, I know we beat Houston, but I don't think we played well. And then, obviously, in the fourth quarter, we were awful against uh, Denver. So it was good to shake off that rust and remind Celtic fans and everybody that this is a championship-level team because they have so many different ways to win. And I just love the pace and th that they ran their offense. I love the attack that they had. The only time they dribbled the ball is when they should have, which was late in the game to kind of play the clock game. So, yeah, I think it's, it's an impressive win. And um, it felt like they had the pulse of the game. Besides the one three that Luka hit, and you're like, whoa, is Dallas going to make a run? Outside of that, like it felt like they really controlled the, this game. And Drew, how surprised were you by that one-on-one -on -one matchup between Jalen Brown and Luka Doncic and that moment where he did put Luka on his behind on the court? I loved it, Amina. I actually – I wasn't surprised, and Scout can back me on this. You asked me who do I think – would guard yeah. Luke at the start. I said maybe JB because I felt like his size and his strength would be the best match. I know Drew is really strong, but Luke has got a few inches on him. I thought Brown was probably the right matchup. And then on offense, obviously, it worked out pretty well as well. Uh. <laughs> It's just not going to get older. You hit it right on point, Scal. When you guys are doing the play of the game, I was like, I could not hold it together. I was so, like, Scal, Amina, Scal is on point with that one. Amina, is it better to go, or skrr? Ooh. <laughs> repeating it and do it. I'm not even going to mess myself up and talk but I like the second one, though. I like listen, the second one. Listen, as, as, is, as is often the case on post-game, Scal is the most negative one here, as, as, is, as is routinely the case.